Hello everybody how are you all i hope you guys are doing amazing my name is pritesh and welcome to yet another amazing learning session on chat gpt with excel so we are learning the basic to advanced of excel with the help of chat gpt or gen ai so uh, till now we have covered various topics like some profits if left right date if network days email extracting email names all all of this has been pretty simple and now we come to one of the most important functions in excel that is vlookup now vlookup is something that is make that is going to make your job super easy if you master it it can get a little tricky but once you get the knack of it it's going to be super 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 easy right so basically in vlookup what we do is we have a given data looking at that data we determine the values in another set of data right uh, let me explain to you how it goes so over here uh, you know we have completed all of this and today we are going to do v lookup so let me see what i have got so i have got rating and the quantity and then i have got products and their rating so like you know apple has a rating of 4 bananas has a rating of 3 mangoes has a rating of 2 pineapples 5 and cherries 1 as per the rating i have to determine the quantity like if my apples are rated 4 the quantity for 4 is 400 okay so which means i will need 400 apples because the rating of apple is 4 if the rating of mango is 2 i will need 200 mangoes so this is how i need to do it now if there are only 5 products doing it manually is very very easy but imagine imagine if i am dealing with 500 products then doing it manually will take a lot 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 of time right and i have got only 5 ratings what if i have got 20 ratings or what if i have got ratings in decimals then even remembering it becomes very very difficult right so i'm going to use the formula of v lookup and i'm going to get this task done like this okay also if you are looking uh, at it from a retail or supply chain pov obviously you are going to have a lot 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 more information in the data and we look up is going to make your job very very easy and fast if i am looking from an hr's pov or if i am looking at the appraisals pov and i have to give appraisal to the employee according to the rating of the kra then again my we look up becomes very very handy right so again i am going to go to my best friend for excel that is chat gpt so you know i'll just open my chat gpt and i'll write the most uh detailed prompt right so i open my chat gpt and i write to my chat gpt hello i am new to ms excel uh help me to write a function okay don't not write help me with a function okay that will look up the value in cell now let me see what cell i need to put my value in so my cell is going to be g5 right that will look up the value in cell g5 okay in column in column b because my ratings and my uh, quantity is in column b in column actually not only b in column b and c b and c because it is both in b and c b has the rating and uh, c has the uh, formulas and return the corresponding value and return the corresponding value in column corresponding value in column g okay so this is the formula that i have put and let me see how chat gpt helps me so it is giving me a v lookup formula right so yeah so very very complex formula that it has given me using x lookup so it has given me a formula using x lookup which obviously i cannot so let me uh, tweak my prompt a little bit let me put it as only columns b so i'll just copy this i'll paste the formula again and i will remove 
and c over here let me see then how it gives me the formula okay yeah see now it is giving me using vlookup so what i'll do is i'll just copy this formula right i'll go back to my excel i'll go back to my excel over here i'll put my formula in my cell g5 control v okay but here i'll make instead of 6 because 6 is the index index means it means the entire range and my entire range is 2 it is rating as well as quantity from the reference column it is rating and quantity from the reference column so 6 i'll make as 2 and i'll press enter right so it's saying that formulas to calculate incorrectly okay let me see what is going wrong over here okay it has given me the formula as zero just let me you know okay this is g5 b is to g okay something has gone wrong here let us uh, let us you know see what has exactly gone wrong okay okay so now what we need to do is it is looking up in g5 we need this we need it to take four and then go back to column b and c and give me the quantity in g right so here i should put instead of g5 i should put it as f5 okay and now you see i've got it as 400 so 4 is corresponding to 400 4 is corresponding to 400 and it has given me correct one so what we did wrong was what we did wrong was we wrote here incorrectly let me just show you back what we did the mistake over here the mistake that we did was we should have written it as f5 so i'm new to excel help me with a function that will look up the value in cell f5 and return the corresponding value in column g now when i use it i get my correct formula right so i'll just copy this control c go back to my excel Go back to my excel and put my formula over here okay instead of f5 now i'll put it as f6 because i'm looking at 3 so i'll go here paste the formula yeah i'll change this f5 to f6 and i will change this 6 to 2 and i press enter and i've got 300 right so this is the perfect formula now and i just drag and drop Tana. so in a second my formula is done right so this is how you apply the vlookup formula in the easiest and the fastest possible manner right so let us go back uh, to chat gpt and ask chat gpt for more data sets you know that will help me to create and uh, to work rather on the vlookup so can you help me with data set that will help me to practice v look up in ms excel so i've just asked chat gpt and it has given me lots and lots and lots of uh, you know sample data which i can use see so what it has told me is that the product id is given the product name is given, category is given and price is given, right? 
So in another part of Excel, you can create a small table which will perform lookups. For example, you have just have the ID and the price and the VLOOKUP will be this. So this will be super, super, super easy. So just let me try it out. What I'll do is I'll just copy this entire data, copy, go back to my Excel. I'll just copy paste the entire uh, data and then show you the screen. Yeah, now you can see the screen. So you can see I have copy pasted the entire data from Excel, right? Sorry, from ChatGPT. And now I'll just copy my formula. The formula also has been given to me by ChatGPT. I just need to be careful with the cell number. So here the cell is P4. So what I'll do is I'll copy the formula, put it as P4. Right. And this will be my table array that is from J3 to M3. So that will be from J to M. Okay, it has given me a zero. So again, something is wrong over here. Let me see the previous formula. F5 B is to G. Okay, so J is to P. I have to do this. J is to P. Oh, still I'm getting it as zero. Let me try it with J is to O. Still it is zero. Okay, there is something really, really fishy over here. Okay, so let me go back to the previous formula. It took F5, which is right. Then it took B is to G and then 2 because it was 2 and false. Okay, so here what is wrong? G is to O, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is right. Table array. Okay, let me see if I can change it. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me just see what is going wrong over here. Is the range of your data set? Okay. Something has gone wrong here. Okay. This needs to be O4. Just a minute. This one has to be. Yes. Perfect. So very important is this particular uh, cell ID. Yeah. So now we got it and we just drag it down. Got it. So you see, with the help of uh, chat GPT, so easily we have done it. The, uh, the place where I was going wrong was I had not taken the correct cell number of the product ID 101. So I was I had put it as P4, which obviously was blank. So the answer was again and coming again and again coming as zero, whereas it had to be O4. So once I put O4, I got my correct answer. So see, uh, and uh, you know, it's very good that we are making mistakes because the more we make mistakes, the uh, more correctly we'll do it next time right so make sure that you practice as much as you can because again as i told you excel is something that the more you practice the better you'll get at it okay so i'll be seeing you in the next video where again we'll be doing a little bit more complex 
operations with VLOOKUP. Right. So till then, keep watching, keep practicing, keep learning. This is Pradesh, your host and those from LearnBay, signing off for now. Take care. See you soon.